how much does she go back to your page to watch what's going on the sad thing is that she doesn't a lot of times want to have to go hit you up so she does want maybe some answers what i do what i do fellas so today's video is all about no contact working after she watches your story so i've been seeing a lot of questions about what does it mean? Oh, I've been watching and seeing and noticing that her name's coming up. She's coming back, trying to be in my life. Not actually saying something, but she is coming around somehow. So if it is her name popping back up, if it's even like her friend's names and things like that, I'm going to discuss what does that mean. And also we're going to talk about what she's feeling at the end of the video. So before I get into this video, give this video a huge thumbs up. And fellas, if you want a part two of this video, let me know. And then you know no contact is like a huge topic already we have so much to talk about in this video so if there is another no contact video y'all want a specific one like with you know maybe kids involved or hey maybe she has an ex-boyfriend that she always went back to let me know down below and we'll get videos like that also going all right so with that all just being said fellas you know we can get on the line right now and talk about what is going on with you with her what's up during a consultation we can talk about whatever it is a book your consultation by clicking that link down below all right so the thing about this video today is all gonna go on dependent on that woman right so it's gonna be dependent on oh did she not speak to you for this long and this is also back to dependent on you somewhat and let's say this is your second third time going into no contact and what you have to now do is not speak to her for like let's say one week and then because she's not acting right you have to keep doing no contact for two weeks now it's dependent on Oh, is she done really with you now? Now it depends on what do you have to really do to get your message across that, hey, you know, you're not messing with her or I'm not going to break no contact. So now that we just get that out there, like that both of y'all, it's really dependent on what you guys are doing and how long you guys want it to be going on. Let's now talk about what goes on in personal life, because this is something some people overlook like, oh, well, my life now is this, right? Things are starting. And then also what's starting in her life, like sometimes Girls are going back to school, right? Sometimes she's getting a second job. Sometimes you never know. Maybe she's having issues with her family. So personal life really, really matters also because if, let's say, another guy gets out of her life and now it depends on you guys not speaking for two weeks and this is something she's not used to, what happens now, fellas? She's now wanting to hit you up and running to watch your story would make sense. And personal life, and now goes on to what do you post? So if you're posting things like you're in the gym let's say that's something you never posted before she's instantly thinking what's going on and then also think about this like she sees maybe some of it whether she hears it from somebody or not she still most likely could see your little bubble if this is snapchat or whatever and then highlights it's not really the same thing or whatever but either way if she knows there's something different going on she might get excited or just back to being curious this is really the beginning stage now here's what also depends on is the consistency. How much does she go back to your page to watch what's going on? So sometimes some girls really only pop up when let's say you do something different. Let's say it wasn't in your routine to go somewhere and now you have this routine going on. Let's say you start posting super early and before when you guys were dating, you never really posted. So these things shock her. And fellas, if you're trying to shock her in the bedroom and I'm saying shock her with all the things you can do to her, all the positions women love y'all, to put her in and some of these positions y'all don't even know about and other things that women want in the bedroom the secrets it's all on patreon cannot be on youtube y'all could catch up by clicking that link down below go watch all those videos and see what else is on patreon so back to how those are shocking to her that you have things different going on in your life that you have actually a life going on and you're happy without her now she wants to know why aren't you reaching out now another thing you guys just have to keep in mind is that she's not breaking no contact she's actually not breaking no contact because she's saying in her mind i'm not talking to you i'm not reaching out so the idea of also going back to watch your story which we're gonna have to break down in a whole nother video is actually also possibly wanting you to say something wanting you to notice her name but again back to the reason why she even clicked on it this is also dependent on how she feels if she feels like you're not gonna think much of it then she feels like I could click on your story so look at it like this if she feels like you're not gonna think oh she's wanting me oh she's obsessed with me or thirsty or hey she's thinking about me if she thinks you're 
you're not going to really think that way. She doesn't care, right? She doesn't have nothing to lose to click on your story. The only thing that she gets satisfied with is knowing that, oh, you just went to the gym now after she clicked your story. Or knowing that, oh, you're going to see my name and I'm just going to be watching you but not say anything. Now, the idea is, is that she could get fulfilled to that certain extent that's only good for that moment. So let's just say if she's with her friends and she's like, oh, I see he posted something. And now let's give a whole different example. Let's say you went out on the weekend, right? And it could just be with a few friends, right? And it could just be, let's say, a lounge or let's just say it was just somewhere where it was a gathering area and... Y'all were just chilling, good vibes. She's hanging out with her girls. At this time, she is looking at her phone. Where she's like, well, do I really want to click on it? Or um, maybe I will, maybe I'm not. And then she'll come back to it. Then she'll go away and then she'll go back to actually wanting to see your story. So a lot of times she's not thinking right away, I want to click on it. She actually could get excited. She could also feel like nervous. Or she could just be flat out like, I don't care if he sees my name again. And she could be back to now feelings. She's being nosy. So she does want... Maybe Maybe some answers, but also think about this. If she really has strong, strong feelings for you and you guys were in a serious, serious relationship, or let's just say you guys were really about each other, let's say for some time, then also her coming back into watching your story and stuff is her actually coming back into your life. So basically she's thinking that, you know what, I could click on it because, you know, we're cool in that way. So look at it like this. She doesn't really see a problem with it. So most times when she's still clicking on your story, maybe you guys didn't end things on the best note, or maybe, you know, she did tell you the whole like I'm not really wanting anything serious maybe she did friend zone you or maybe she just ended things but the idea is that she's making you still think in your mind you know why don't you still try it so the sad thing and this is how we're kind of going to wrap up with this video the sad thing is that she doesn't a lot of times want to have to go hit you up right she doesn't let's say it like this she doesn't have it in her to want to go and reach out when it comes down to no contact so a lot of times running to seeing what you're doing clicking on your story is the best alternative and like I started off saying in the video it really does depend on what you're posting how much you're posting like back to if you weren't posting before take it like this if you went some weeks without posting if you even never post and you know this is your first post in like three four months that's going to be shocking to her again. But not only that, now it's down to what do you post. So also, you can notice, this is the other thing y'all could keep in mind. When you post a certain specific thing, does she click? Does she click on certain days? When do you actually see her name, right? So is it when you go out? When you do certain things with your guys, when sometimes, you know, she might think there's a girl in your story somehow when you, and this is the last thing that's very important. When you post things that seem like it could be back to her or back to your feelings, right? So sometimes really she wants these answers or she really wants to understand what's behind that little bubble. What's the full picture? What's your full feelings? What are you actually saying? And then again, if y'all are the catch, y'all got things going on. If you're actually uploading, posting things, that are actually now happening too those are the things that gets her to want to see what's going on those are the things that y'all gotta also remember because when weeks go by when you know let's say she hasn't still reached out she's still knowing that you're doing really really well and it simply can fall down to her ego and pride won't let her actually reach out but we do know in that case she still is very aware of what you're doing all that that is going on with you and you know a lot of times girls just don't want to do it that ego and pride really holds them back from breaking no contact but this is why y'all have to keep it going because she has to get to that breaking point eventually if she wants you right so don't break no contact of course and then as you guys keep seeing her name ignore it keep posting what you gotta post of course mix it up and go mi8 if that's the case as well that could help you guys you don't have to be posting also one month and she's a, maybe the first top 10 people to click to watch right things like that happen she could still be watching you so just keep going with no contact and y'all that is it for this video i hope it was helpful i will drop more videos like this make sure you click the patreon link to get all those extra videos that you guys will never see on youtube and don't forget consultations is available we could talk about whatever it is that's going on click that link down below and y'all will see me in my next video fellas the elevate hoodie is available in gray you can go ahead and purchase it by clicking the link down below and y'all it is embroidered stitch very high quality and it is champion y'all see the logo right there you can have this hoodie for over 
10 years, fellas. Make sure you do take care of it. When you go ahead and dry it, you can go ahead and hang it out on your balcony if you have a balcony or your backyard if you have that. And fellas, this hoodie does come in black as well, so you can go ahead and get it in black and there is t-shirts available. So once more, click that link down below. Get your Elevate hoodie, Elevate Your Life by clicking that link down below.